morning, we are now getting a better idea of how eight mayoral candidates plan to fight crime and make Nashville a safer place to live. Ryan Breslin is live for us this morning. This was an interesting forum because last night those candidates were asked questions, Ryan, directly from victims of crime. Yeah, that's right. Good morning to you, Holly and Amanda. People who have been most affected by crime in the city got a chance to talk to the people who are trying to become Nashville's next top leader, asking them what they will do to make this, safe, this city a safer one. Now, the forum that was held by the Tennessee Voices for Victims, a nonprofit advocacy group for victims of violence in Nashville, held topics with deep, personal, yet informative conversations. Their first question addressed their plans to keep people safe. So with smart policing, I think it's important to make sure that we're taking advantage of lighting and, um, and traffic light technology to, to keep our citizens safer. Victims want most to be sure that no one else is victimized. And today in Nashville, we have too many people waiting to become a victim of crime. I've worked with victims over the last nine years to strengthen domestic violence laws, to make sure that there's a longer hold period so that victims could find their way to safe housing before someone's released. Then some candidates answered how they plan to support the Metro Police Department once in the role of mayor. We want them to have the mental health and the breaks that they need for their safety, but also so that they can perform at peak performance to make sure that they are keeping us safe. The mayor you elect right now to preside over will have one of the most significant public safety elements to it. And so I think we are setting ourselves up for a strong future and we need to make sure that that works well with communities across Nashville. Now, as a reminder, early voting starts on July 14th with Election Day on August 